Well, well, well. Of the turntables. Azalea is now relevant in the competitive classic constructed meta. And when Phi bursted onto the scene, I made a video anti aggro, how to deal with Phi, blah, 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 blah. So I wanted to highlight some generic cards that you can maybe splash into your deck to help deal with Azalea or even Lexi and Riptide. You know, Rangers have a lot of new powerful arrow pumps and arrow effects. And Azalea especially capitalizes on Codex of Frailty, premeditate to uh, dominate certain arrows throughout the game and really thwart your game plan. So here are some cards that'll help you um, try them out. So first off, we got Chains of Eminence. Let me see if I can. Chains of Eminence. Um, so it has Go Again built in. Doesn't cost anything. You're going to play it. You're going to name a card and it can be pitch, played, or used to defend. So premeditate, Codex of Frailty, uh, Infecting Shot, Red in the Ledger, Knock the Death Whistle. Those are all valid, um, valid targets for Chains of Eminence against Azalea in particular. Um, against Riptide, you can name certain traps if you really wanted to. Uh, Lexi, you can name things like uh, Three of a Kind or Art of War. Um, cool stuff like that. So Chains of Eminence, it's free. Has go again, not attack action. Pretty flexible, in my opinion. Um, Enchanting Melody. This is a bit lower in power level. Uh, it costs two. Has go again. Um, if you'd be dealt damage, instead destroy this and um, prevent four damage. So against a dominate, for example, this in play would suck up four. You can have a card from your hand to block another three, and that's seven total. A piece of equipment can get you eight or nine, so that's pretty safe against a big nasty dominated arrow most of the time. So enchanting melody, if you have a good amount of blues and probably a decent weapon that costs one, then this would probably be a decent splash if you're feeling saucy. Um, Humble is a attack action, cost two, attacks for six, defense for two. Uh, when this hits a hero, that hero loses all abilities until the end of the next turn. So this will allow you against Azalea to not let her activate the hero ability to swap the perfect arrow in and give a dominate. Um, you know, they might still have a good turn with a pumped arrow for like seven to nine damage, but it won't be dominated. So you can deal with it appropriately. Um, so humble is a decent splash. If uh, your hero can capitalize on just two for sixes, get value out of it. Um, Imperial Edict is a spicy, uh, royal only edition because you can play this without being a royal. Uh, but if you're royal in particular, your opponent has to reveal their hand. So, um, cost one has go again as an action. Uh, you destroy this, um, Name a card. That card can't be played until the start of your next turn. And if you're royal, your opponent reveals his hand, then you name the card. So, again, things like premeditate or uh, knock the death whistle, um, red in the ledger, just anything that's really going to hurt you. Imperial Edict is kind of like the silver bullet. Uh, you can only have one in your deck, and it mainly benefits if you're royal. So, it's just kind of cheeky, you know. Uh, Oasis Respite, this is already in most people's sideboards for wizards, if uh, you have wizards in your meta, but um, yeah, the one for four, it's an instant, so dominate, you can defend with a card from your hand and play this from your hand as well, because it's an instant, you're not defending with it, quote unquote, 
So if you're down on life, you gain a life, and then you prevent four damage from that. Dominate effect again. So a seven dominate arrow is all of a sudden a block three from hand in Oasis Respite. Um, an eight or nine dominate arrow, same thing. One card from hand, Oasis Respite from Arsenal or your hand, plus a piece of equipment, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, peace of Mind is new with Outsiders. It costs two, prevents four. So again, if you have the Iron Hide equipment where you pay one and a defense for two, you can pitch a blue and prevent six damage from that dominated arrow. And you can still block with a card from hand and arsenal. So pretty safe bet and it creates a punter token. So that's a pretty decent addition if you can justify the two cost. Uh, reinforce the line is probably one of the better options in this list i would say but uh it's an instant again so you can get it around dominate target defending attack action card gets plus four defense so block with a three defense attack action card play this at instant to go to seven you can use equipment to go even higher or even um something from arsenal because um yeah this is instant so it it doesn't add to the pile for dominate so yeah, this is probably the best card for most aggro decks to uh, splash in against Azalea, in my opinion. And then you got Unmovable, and I have it in all three colors, red, blue, and yellow. So at red, at th the cost of three, you're going to block for seven. But if you have this in your arsenal, when you play it, it's going to block for eight, the yellow for seven, the blue for six. So... If you have a lot of blues, definitely give the red a consideration because it'll defend from eight from your arsenal. But uh, certain decks, most of their turns, they can get away with two resources total. So yellows are safe to uh, have a turn. So yellow move is really good. It can still defend for seven from arsenal. But also when you don't need it at that time, you can pitch that yellow and, and have the turn you want to have in most decks. And then, of course, the blue is very safe because it can block for six from Arsenal, but also you can pitch for three at any time you don't need it. And then the last card I have in this list is Fog Down. It blocks for three, which is nice, um, but it's a three-cost yellow, which says non-attack action cards lose and can't gain go again. Um, so it... This is an aura you lay down on your turn. It does cost an action point. It does not have a go against so you. Play it and your turn's over. Um, but Azalea won't be able to play those things like Premeditate, uh, Knock to Death Whistle, um, Nimbleism, any of that, any of those pumps, Lace with Blood Rot, any of those pumps lose and can't gain go against. So you're forcing their turn to be a dominated at best it's going to be like a dominated arrow for the printed attack value um of like what four or five so you know really not a huge deal compared to what would happen if there was like a double pump into a dominated arrow type of situation so yeah i just wanted to get this out there for you guys um it'll be all right you know there's tools here not to mention class-specific cards like Riptide and all the traps will have a fine time, I imagine, into Azalea. Uh, Oldham Guardians have staunch response. They have insane defense reactions. Turn Timber, even if you want to get crazy. So there's plenty of stuff out there. The meta's going to move around. It's, it's healthy for the game. But I uh, just wanted to get this out here for you guys to uh, digest. If you have any suggestions for others, let them know in the comments. And I will see you in the next video.